bring them to my first point. The importance of positive, not what's not, not focus, don't worry about what's not working, what is working, do more of that. Yes, look at why things aren't working, maybe make some amendments. It's tough out there. All right, if it's not working for you, find out who it's working for and copy off them. I was speaking at the Direct Sellers Association conference and, uh, about three or four weeks ago, that's where I met Jamie. And I was speaking to the, the, the chair of the, the Southern Ireland uh, kind of br branch of uh, the DSA. I was speaking to more than that. So all the things are tough out there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, all this doom and gloom. The banks are going upside down and businesses. Oh, no, 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 no. Things are up for us. We're up 13%. Oh, are you? Yeah, of course, there's more opportunities to bring people on board. It's focusing on the positive. And by the way, I don't know this stuff because somebody came and spoke to me about it. I know this stuff works because it helped me when my mum died. And I've needed that mindset ever since because I've had some other things to deal with as well. But you know what? And by the way, I'm not, I'm not saying this. Hey guys, do you know something negative happens to you? Don't worry about it. Just focus on the positive. You'll be all right. That would be naive. Because some of the stuff we go through in life is painful. Look at mum's death. You can't take away the pain, but what I'm saying is this. If you can just find something positive to focus on, it'll just make that situation a little bit easier to cope with. And why wouldn't you? I'm going to show you potential you didn't know you had. I'm going to choose six of you to come up to the front right now, a bit more audience participation, and you're going to sing to the rest of the group. He might need some encouragement, so let's give him some encouragement. <laughs> Was that the best you could do? <laughs> See, I've got a belief that no matter what we're talking about, no matter what it is we're talking about, we can always do a little bit more. Yeah. I'm going to give somebody £10 for that loudest cheer. Give him some encouragement. <laughs> talking about. <laughs> See what I mean? Because we're doing a bit more, can't we? I ain't got £10 to give away. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you up for this? Stand a bit forward. Just test the mic. Just say Ginger Massive. Ginger Massive. It's weird. <laughs> Come on. Of course. <laughs> Nobody's going to be singing. So you can relax, Jamie. <laughs> but what I'd like to ask you all, just to be honest, answer show of hands. Do you know as I wandered round just then, did anybody feel slightly uncomfortable? Be honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> did you? That is how I felt at 13 when I got on that stage. I was absolutely petrified. In life, we come across things. It might be knocking on the door for the first time. It might be taking that leap of faith to, take, to get involved in this industry. It might be the first conversation, that first attempt to encourage somebody to join your team. Is it, you call it kind of sponsoring somebody? It feels, oh, where's um, Karen I spoke to earlier? Karen. Karen there. I spoke to Karen. She's just new in the business and she's never had a conversation with somebody just yet about kind of being part of her team. It feels uncomfortable, she said. She's petrified. You've got to do those things. Because here's my second point, guys. Courage, it creates confidence. Courage creates... You're not writing that down, are you? Don't you know that? And the great thing about courage, it costs not a penny. Doing something that feels uncomfortable, as the previous speaker said, again and again and again, creates confidence. I learned one of my most important lessons in life. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Do you know what some people think? That asking for help is a sign of weakness. It's the opposite, isn't it? It takes guts to ask for help. I'm not talking about just emotional stuff here, by the way. I mean, isn't the reason that you're here today is to get some help from other people that are, have trod the path that you're on. If you've got a mentor, if you have mentorships, I mean, I've got a mentor, I've got a coach, if you've got a coach, you've got people that you can continually get support from, get some help from. One of the best things you ever did, asking for help. It brings me to my final point. Never give up. You're not writing that down, are you? <laughs> Never give up. All right, you know what? Sometimes you've got to give up on some things. Never give up, give up on the big goal. It has been a real pleasure speaking to you guys at Clean Easy. Clean and easy. Um, now, I don't know you. I don't know your past. I don't know your history. I don't know where you're going. I don't know what your achievements are, your goals. I don't know any of that stuff, but you do know mine, or you know some of them. And I respectfully suggest that if I can overcome all that stuff, mum was murdered by a serial killer. I was beaten with sticks. I've stepped the streets. I've been in prison. All that stuff. In fact, I've not shared everything with you. But if I can overcome all that stuff and go on to achieve far more than I ever dreamt possible, Listen, guys, if I can, you know what's coming, don't you?
whether you can too, you know you can. Guys, it's been a pleasure. I'm Richard McCann. Thank you very much. And Ginger Massive.